We've seen how Rails RESTful routes automatically create all of the standard routes for the standard controller actions. But it's not always the case that we have all the standard controller actions. In this movie, we'll talk about what to do when resources either omit some of the standard actions or have additional actions which need to be supported. First, let's talk about if they don't have all of the actions. For example, if we were going to create a RESTful route for our admin users controller, we wouldn't have the show action. Remember, we left that out. There is no show action for our admin users. So we don't want to create a route to get there. All we have to do is when we create our resources to pass in a hash of options telling it which ones it should omit. We do that as an array. So create all of the regular resources except for show. We can do the same thing in reverse by saying only if there's only a few that we want to list. It really is just a case of which one requires less typing, except or only. Now in the case when we have resources which have additional actions that need to be supported, it's a little more complicated. We actually had this case in our subjects controller. Remember, I added a customization that would give us that delete action. That's not one of the standard actions. There are seven standard ones, but we had eight in our controller. So delete, I had to add by putting a block called member, that had a do and end, and inside of it, specifying that it was going to be a get action, and it would be called delete. And that's what gave us that helper for delete underscore subject underscore path with the ID that would then route to the correct controller. Now, the fact that it's in that block called member is important. It's saying that this is a route that is going to work on a member of this resource, a single item of this resource. That means that it's expecting to get an ID in that case. It's also significant that I said that it was get delete. It's going to be a get request. If it hadn't, if we'd been performing an HTTP patch or delete request, then that's what we would have put there in place of get. In addition to having a block for member, we could have another block for collection. And inside there, we can list off the actions which would be performed on the entire collection of objects. So here we're not talking about a single one, we're talking about all of them. For example, we might decide to create an action called export which will allow us to export all of our subjects from our database. To do that, inside of the collection block, we would define get export. It'd be a get request. We're asking to get data back. So it's a get request and it's going to be called export. And the helper method that it would give us as a result would be export underscore subjects path. Notice that it's plural in that case. We wouldn't be exporting a subject, we're exporting all of the subjects. So that's all there is to adding additional actions to your resources. You just need to determine whether the action is going to either act on a member of the resource or a collection, and then decide what HTTP verb applies. Is this a get request, a post request, a patch request, or a delete request? And use that verb followed by the name of the action. Rails will then automatically create the related helper method that will help you to write routes to route to that action.